Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to possibly get a moderate or open NAT type on your Xbox Series X. So there are some things that you can try to do. So let's go to settings, go to general, and go to network settings right here. Then we can go to set wireless network, and we can try connecting to a different wireless network. Maybe we have a couple different routers in our house, whatever. But go to a different wireless network and try connecting to it. So I have three different connections available at my house. I have the 2.4 gigahertz, which is Mr. Beast. Then Miss Beast is my five gigahertz. And then Scump right here is my uh, gaming router that I connect to. And that is a five gigahertz connection as well. So if I have any T-type struck down one of them, I can switch to the other one and it will say moderate or open. Also, uh, if you look at the NAT type right here, it might say like moderate or something, but if we go to test NAT type right here, this will update that status. So it could change once you go to update right here. Also, you could try uh, unplugging all your routers, your modems and your Xbox, just unplug everything for at least one minute and let it reconnect. And sometimes just doing that will fix your NAT type. So this is gonna take a while if you're gonna be updating. And once again, it's gonna take like 15 seconds to go ahead and go through this process, but just wait and it'll give you a new uh, an AT type. And a lot of times it'll go from like strict to open for me just by simply checking this. But it says it's moderate right now. I went ahead and changed the port selection for that. Another thing that you could try is going offline right here and then reconnecting. So go offline and then blah, 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 all this stuff. Go to go online now. And we're going to connect and it's going to get a new NAT type, getting info right here. All services are available. So it says it's moderate stuff. So we could try forgetting the wireless network and then going back over to set up wireless connection and you'll have to enter in the password for your uh, router again. So try that as well. Then we can go down to advanced settings. So I'm going to stand in front of this and then what we want to do on the left side here, we want to go down to alternate port selection and choose that. Then under here, we can go to manual and we could try connecting to a different port. So five, six, so, so connect to a different port under here and then go back to the screen and see if uh, just messing around with some of the Xbox settings fix your situation. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your sixth step.